To graph a piecewise function, we need to graph each component function and take the part of that component that corresponds to the given values of x. In this particular case here, we need to graph two equations. We need to graph equation y equals 2x plus 3 and take that part of that graph that corresponds to x is less than 1 and then we need to graph the equation y equal absolute value of x and take the part of that graph that corresponds to x greater or equal 1. If we look at the first equation you should be able to recognize that this equation represents a straight line with slope m equal 2 and the y-intercept, the point 0 and 3. So if we graph this point, we'll have 0, 3 is the y-intercept. We rise 2 and run 1, we'll get another point, And the graph of that equation is a straight line going through those two points. You should use the straight edge to graph that line. Now, we want this graph only for x is less than 1, so we find the point on the graph that corresponds to x equal 1, and that is going to be point 1 and 5. This point is not on the graph of the function f of x, because function f of x does not use x equal 1 uh, in the formula 2x plus 3, so this point is will draw open circle to say that this point is not included and will take every part of that line that corresponds to x is less than 1 and therefore will choose the part of that graph that is to the left of the point 1 and the 5. So everything to the left of that point, whole line, is going to be part of the graph of the function f of x. Now there is the part that we are not using. This is the part for x greater than 1 and therefore we take eraser and erase this part. Now the second equation. Now the second equation is absolute value function. Again you should be able to recognize this function. These are diagonals of the first and the second quadrant. And again, we are using only the part of that graph that corresponds to x greater or equal 1. So as before, I will find the point on the graph that corresponds to x equal 1, and this would be point 1 and 1. This point this time is on the graph of the function f of x because I'm using x equal 1 in this uh, formula, and I'm using everything that is greater or equal 1, so we we'll take part of that graph that corresponds to the axis greater or equal 1, and this would be this part of that line. Anything else that is on the graph that is not used, so for the part of the graph that corresponds to the axis less than 1 is excluded. As, as a result, we'll get the graph of the function f of x consisting of two half lines, one that ends with the open circle and the other part starts with the solid dot.